beauty. So you guys, graduation is coming up, right? I'm sure it is. Um, for some people, <laughs> not for us. Well, not for, for me. <laughs> okay, well, you know, there's a you graduation prom. I'm graduating. I'm graduating. I wish I could take You're a bow. You're a grown bow. woman right now. I mean, you guys know, you see this little puff hair. Cute. And just so like cute. me, a lot of people have natural hair. And you see these caps that they give? They clearly didn't have natural girl hairs in mind when they made that oh cap. Oh, God, absolutely. Because we go through hell trying yeah, to fit it on our head. Yeah, like this. It's terrible. Yeah. So I have a little hack for the natural hair girl. Ooh. So if you don't want to hear your hair, wear your hair slicked back, but just tell you, oh, we're in a ponytail. No, I want to hear my, wear my gorgeous locks. Mm -hmm. You can take your cap, cut around the cap part, mm -hmm. just to have the square part, and hot glue a headband, a cheap headband you could get from 99 wow. cent store on the top of it, right? Oh my God, that's really smart. That's so smart. That's really cool. Put it to your hair. If you need to put one pin, maybe pin it down, or you could keep the cap and use pins to go around it. Oh. Maybe diamond studded pins or, you know, glittered mm -hmm. pins. Fancy. You could also design from if you go to Michael's, you know, yeah. creative art store. You're about that Michael's life, Jasmine. No, I am about that Michael's life. I love mm -hmm. Michael's. And I also want to give a shout out to Raven Simone McFadden, hey. who hey. was diagnosed with cerebral palsy. And I want to give a shout out to her because she's graduating. She graduated in four years from um, the University of Fonbonne with a um, media communications degree and also um, two minors. So that's freaking amazing. Yeah, in four, four years, years. Not four a years. lot of people I have two even finish. And I'm not ready some yet, people so. are still trying to Don't finish. Okay, I need to register for some more classes. Me. And that's just totally amazing from her going through surgeries, living yeah. in a single parent home. I just really want to give a shout out to her. People like her should be, you know, shown. Those are good um, examples. Uh, for younger people coming up. Female yeah. excellence. Love Thank that. You. Female Definitely. excellence. We appreciate you right here, Raven. Do we have a mystery topic this week, Michael? We also have a question about finals. Any oh. Finals? Tips? Oh, my gosh. Oh. Let me tell y'all, because I was dying. I'm actually sleep. a queen. I know you can't sleep, you guys, but make sure you stay hydrated. Yes. Um, actually, no, you have to sleep. If, if, you if need to sleep. If it's there's important. ever a question between studying and sleeping, always sleep. Because the more that the more that you sleep, the better that you can retain. Yeah. If Literally, if there's ever a situation where I have to sleep, I will sleep. If it's two hours, if it's an hour and a half, I will sleep and get right back up and continue studying. Um, personally, I like to write everything down. That's the best way that I learn um, because I feel no like cards. I, I'm not, a, no I can't cards. do flash I love too many, too cards. many, too many. Yeah, I like just like pieces of paper and writing everything down um, and like making mnemonics for myself. Like if there's like parts of the body that you have to remember, you do like a little like funny sentence or something like that. That's personally how I like to study. Um, I also like to have like healthy, like, um, what was it, snacks and stuff, like apples, maybe, like, a little bit mm -hmm. of cheese and, like, um, like, I really try to stay away from energy drinks um, because I feel like they make me more tired. They're very I'm bad for you. I, I just I had some ice coffee. I had, like, yeah. ice coffee every day. And, you know, sleep is so true. I have a little day bed in my office, so I'll you fall asleep. Office? Where are you an office? <laughs> in my house. You know, my family have an office okay. in the house. Okay, <laughs> my office. So, okay. So, literally, I will fall asleep and wake up because you do need sleep yeah. because you're going to waste time sitting at the computer falling asleep. Exactly. But you know what? This is the type of sleep. There are sleep, sleep cycles. Mm -hmm. So, if you go to sleep, take a power nap which is 30 minutes 20 to 30 minutes but Amazing. if you go to sleep for an hour that might hurt you yeah. you'll wake up feeling dro um, groggy drowsy, yeah. drowsy mm -hmm. and groggy so you might want to take an hour and a half sleep mm -hmm. never just an hour mm -hmm. that's too much because you go into that state of the REM sleep the REM state where you know you're already about to that's like start your deepest sleeping form of sleep. yeah yeah so Make sure you sleep. Um, coffee is good. I mean, the caffeine's fine for me. Uh, I, feel I, like. can't, I well, can't have caffeine. It's finals yeah. week. I personally can't have caffeine. It makes my stomach really upset. My skin breaks out. But really? Yeah, I, I can't have any coffee. Very. I really can't drink soda like that. I just enjoy. I just enjoy Thank it. You. I try. I just enjoy it. But I mean, Gatorade. I also. I know Gatorade, Gatorade has great. a lot of sugar. I like but I mean, just for finals week, just to help you and yeah. give you that boost of yeah. energy if you need that. I feel like that. Gatorade doesn't really give me a boost. Like I mean, I'll have like a five-hour energy, which is I know I just said about. Energy oh my drinks, gosh. But I will have like a sip of a five-hour energy, and I will be set for the rest of the day like because i don't really have caffeine that much anymore i used to be like a caffeine addict like it was crazy and i just like cut it out of my life withdrawal was really terrible um but now i just drink tea and then i'll have like an occasional five hour energy i can't like a sip of one because if i have more than that like I, I tried to have like a pepsi and then mm. i saw the sugar in it and i was like i can't do this and then i had the five hour energy and i fell right asleep and i was like so miserable yeah, for no. three days it was worse i also, think uh, um mm -hmm. i don't know no, having a meal, taking a nap, but what were you just going to say? I just wanted to give a reminder to everyone taking finals week, 
please be very careful. I know that a popular thing to do is to buy Adderall and stay up oh. all night. It's yeah. not good for you. Yeah. You're not going to, I mean, maybe you'll do well, but probably not. It's terrible for your body. You need to take care of yourself. Yeah. Like, love yourself. Don't take Adderall. Yeah. Definitely. And I feel like when it comes down to finals week, talk to your teachers. That's yes. the best thing. Communication. Honestly, my teacher even told me, if you need time for something, tell me. Mm -hmm. Before just give it, handing in the project late, you discuss it and communicate with teachers. They'll work with you. We're all adults here. I actually, yeah. I actually submitted, um, what was it, one of my papers late, like by three days. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a really good paper, so hopefully he, he has some forgiveness on mm -hmm. me because I don't think anyone wrote as good of a paper as I did, just saying. Mm -hmm. And if you're not graduating right now, don't, don't fret. You know, take your time and do do good Thank you. because Thanks, you know people all have There's their own time and place. Enough. They're supposed to do something. There's a lot of people who graduate quick and can't get a job. There's a lot of people who take their time and graduate and get a job immediately. So we all have our own thing. I mean, I it I give props to everybody who graduates with honors in like three years mm -hmm. and graduates early. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. That's but when you take we don't have our own life classes though, and I don't have that kind yeah. of money. like honestly, like I don't it's, have that do what you have to do. Time yeah. or that mental capacity it's it's really um an accomplishment for anyone who graduates college yeah and i mean also like if you're if you're working part-time if you're going to school part-time like be proud of yourself you know what i mean like going to school like and doing other things with your life is not easy you know like we we all do it and it's it's a struggle like at times sometimes i really just want to lay in bed and just like pretend that i don't exist but i mean at the end of the day like we're we're trying to advance ourselves you know so exactly. be proud of yourself be proud that you're advancing yourself one day at a time there's always going to be an overachiever meaning someone who you might think is doing better than you mm -hmm. but you shouldn't look this is for life you shouldn't look at it as a jealousy thing. Mm -hmm. Look at it as someone you look up to, mm -hmm. you know, admire and strive to be better for yourself. And Never. Just, but like, remember, like, no two people are like like your your journey to success is not the same as somebody else's. Exactly. Absolutely. Exactly. I mean, I feel like that's a, that's a lot of what caught me up, um, particularly in high school. I feel like everybody like I originally was terrified of going to college. I don't know about you guys, but I was terrified. I would cry. Yeah, every I cried day. the first day. No, I seriously. Would, I would cry every day in my um, advisor's office. She really didn't know what to do with me because she was just like we have to pick out some colleges and I was like I'm just so upset like I just couldn't <laughs> I just couldn't handle it um and I mean basically because no one told us all the, these yeah. like Life, it's life hits you, yeah, need life to know. Hits you like, hard. To like register and everything, like, it was a lot. Yeah. The bursar's <laughs> office, okay. okay. Like, why do we have to pay to, need to register get to, that. to a school? Like, why? Like, why do you just take my money? Fifty dollars for each um, for an application. Application, That's fifty dollars each application. I don't even get in. Do we get our money back if you get in? Right? Yeah. No, it's, it's a mess. Crazy. America's a mess. Yeah. Let me tell you guys another thing. Use the offices. There's so many resourceful yes. faculty members that work in like the um, career centers you go to. And I am a freak. I go there and ask simple questions. Mm -hmm. It's almost like, you know, you put in the cal calculator, 4 plus 4 equals 8, just to, just to make sure on your test. <laughs> yes. Like, dang, I'm, I can have too much stuff going through my mind. I can make sure <laughs> four, plus, 4 plus 4 equals 8. I go there and ask. I asked three times. I went to the um, bookstore and asked, um, when are we going to graduate and tickets? Because I didn't want to miss it. I didn't want to mess up because I know I'm clumsy like that. So go use your faculty members. They are there to help you. Career Center, if you need to go through your resume, you know, three times and get different advice from people outside school, inside school, professionals, and that they're there to help you. Use school it. School is all about resources. Definitely. Like, yeah. You paid all that money, use them. Absolutely. Like, I was literally just thinking about it while I was writing my paper. I was like, if my grad school doesn't have a scholarly articles database, I will set myself on fire because they're so useful. Like, I never realized how useful it is mm -hmm. to be able to find, like, things that apply to what you want to talk about and how you can develop something. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, there's so much knowledge out there, and it's just you have to go looking for it and you have to take it upon yourself to do so i mean go to career center and registration those are two great offices Absolutely. i hate the bursa no financial aid we I hate like those the offices. Office. Office. i think it's office. nice there <laughs> no because nobody ever goes everyone okay. thinks that it's busy it's like the gym during free Listen, hour everyone thinks that it's no, busy when it deals with money i don't like them <laughs> no I they want to play like the show. You I know how many times? Nice. Okay, I'm not going to name any names, but I had I got a check in the mail from a school. Okay. Yeah, it was because they told me they didn't pay for something that I paid for, oh. and they get you a lot with that. Uh, you didn't pay for it. Where's the receipt? I Has that happened to you? Always I hear a lot of people complain. I understand it might get hectic, <laughs> hectic in the system because there's so many students, but come on, that's money. And students are like, oh, you have a hold on your account. You can't get your grades oh or something. That's, that's so funny. stressful. Yeah. You know, so make sure you keep your receipts. Keep yeah. those receipts. Also, so they can put respect you on your name. when you register, <laughs> do so early, like on the day and time that you have to register because don't complain that you don't have any classes because you or registered you, five days late. Or you get some sucky classes. Yeah, like that's, that's on you, baby boo. Like, mm -mm -mm. 
Yeah, make sure you're sure. Just do it. Just do it. Make sure you <laughs> write down the classes you want, then register for them. Because if you don't, if you don't drop them before the drop in ad date, you gotta pay for those classes. I went yeah. through that too. I had to yeah. pay five hundred dollars for a class I ain't taking. Oh my gosh. Topic. Anyway, the mystery topic. Mystery topic. Do relationships hurt? Your finals or help your finals? Depends if you're in a good relationship or not. I haven't not. seen my boyfriend in like a month almost. I mean, when you're trying to start a relationship during finals, it's a struggle because you have to pick between hanging out with that person or studying. I know. That's the type of person that I am. Like, I with will literally tools. drop things to be yeah. with another person. Bye. And that's not good. Um, but no. I mean, if you're, if you're a healthy person, you can okay. find a balance. Your balance. How are you dropping them? Like, no communication no, 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 at all? Because no, no, no. we have cell phones. Them. I'm dropping my schoolwork. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, no, Jasmine, that's horrible. No, oh, everything gets done. That happened kind of before, like last year. You can't do that. You have, they, and they, ha they should understand. And it wasn't yeah. my fault, yeah. honestly. Because if you have a good, like, partner, they're going to tell you, concentrate, pay yeah. attention to school, stop mm -hmm. talking to me. Yeah. And they will know all my friends right now, they're all ignoring me. Yeah. They tell me that my best friend, she was like, Essence, I didn't want to call you because I know you're studying for, she's, wow. she's in graduate school oh, right now. Nice. She, my friends are so fabulous. Yeah. Fabulous to me are someone who's smart, respects people, respects themselves, their others, you know, and they could dress nice, you know, fabulous, classy. Yeah. So those are my, that's my best friend. <laughs> and she's like, Essence, you know, I, I know you're concentrating. I didn't want to call you. I'm not going to actually go out. Mm -hmm. One of my friends kind of, they, she still lets me know because she's like in the industry. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of big events. She'll still let me know because she know I'll kill her <laughs> if she went to Drake's party and never <gasps> mentioned it to me, which she did last I night. I you didn't invite us to Drake's party. Same, yeah, so I she, under, had a she dream understands that. that we all went. Really? Yes. He had he had a little um, private event last night, but I'm glad at least she York? still invited me. But it's up to me to tell her no, I can't go. Mm. You have to ha take responsibility. Also, That's true. you know, don't drop your friends. You can still text them once in a while, but I mean, like communicate. Just don't go out and see them and go to the events. Very it's your true. responsibility to not go out and party. Yeah. Okay. okay, well, this is all the time we have. Thank you for tuning in. You guys can check out the live video on our Facebook page. Search the Fem Spot and on our YouTube. Also on sevnetwork.com. Thank you guys. Happy yes. Sunday. See you guys later.